Yo guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Digi Transitions. Um, I'm going to talk you through the pack, um, show you how you can really quickly and easily implement them into your projects uh, to kind of help speed up your workflow um, and create a more energetic, dynamic edit. Um, so let's just take a look through the pack. I've currently got the HD version open just because it's a bit easier to render for this tutorial. Um, and I've got two pieces of HD footage loaded into the timeline already one after another as you can see um, so yeah let's go through the pack and um, starting from the bottom we've got like light leaks um, nice cool like glitch effect transitions if you like hover over you can see how they play out gives you a nice little preview um, we've also got like these neon kind of swipes which are really cool um, and just like a load of just general different styles to suit your project depending on the footage and the kind of edit you're going for um, so from here, let's pull one of these clips over our footage. Really straightforward. Let's go to transition 42. It's a nice uh, light leak. Let's drag that. We want to kind of get it halfway in between the two clips. As you can see, um, you can just choose to play that as it is, and it'll give a nice little transition effect. Um, we can also speed that up a little bit if you want it to be a bit quicker. So let's go 200%. That doubles the speed. Let's get it halfway between again. Now it's a bit more choppy. If you've got like, if you're going for like a more high-paced edit, that might work better for you to speed them up or slow them down. You know, it's up to you. Um, let's take a look. So this is without any, uh, just a normal blender mode. You can um, kind of mess around with these for different effects. My preferred blend mode for transition is screen because it kind of lets you lets the um, it sits on top of the footage and you can also see the footage if that makes sense. Not really worded that very well, but I'm sure you get the idea. So let's play that out now. And it kind of just makes it a bit smoother between the two clips. It kind of like glues them together nicely. Um, like I say, it's a smoother edit. Rather than just having the two clips play simultaneously, one after another, should I say. Um, so yeah, let's try another, another style of transition. Let's go with number 19. Let's pull that on top of the footage again. Let's try and get it halfway in between. It's a bit fidgety. There we go. Uh, I'm actually going to speed this up again as well, just for a bit of a quicker edit. Let's go 200% again. Get that in between. And I'm going to go with screen again. Let's see how that looks. So another thing you can actually do here is I'm going to split this into this tool depending on what program you're using, all of them have it though, this is called the razor tool, you can actually clip in between. Now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add um, a fast colour corrector to the left side of the clip, the bit that's overlaying on this footage. As you can see the blue of this transition kind of works well on this side but maybe not as well on the left side. So I'm actually just going to shift the colour over. Uh, it's really straightforward. Just change the hue angle. Again, this is something that your video editing software will have. Um, that look, looks pretty nice. Like a ready kind of tint to match like these boards here. Let's see how that plays out. So yeah, really straightforward to use this uh, pack. Um, I'm also going to go through some more advanced techniques uh, using After Effects. So stick about if you're interested in seeing how to uh, implement them into your edits. Okay, so stepping things up a tiny bit here now, I'm in Adobe After Effects. I'm going to show you how to create a cool glitch transition effect um, using one of the glitch transition, which is Transition 39. There's a few different ones you can use here, but um, I'm going to go with 39 anyway. Um, so as you can see, I've got two clips lined up in the timeline um, next to each other. Um, I'm using the HD pack again. Um, what I'm going to do is make these two clips overlap each other a little bit. Um, that should do, then pull in the transition and line that up to the end of the first clip, get the top clip in line with that and then split them using Control shift d um, and now with the uh, transition let's go to Luma Mat and now let's press play and as you can see you get a really cool nice like glitch effect here. Um, you can mess around with this again, try Luma inverted. Just 
create some nice really cool um, transition there as you can see thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this content please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel um, also follow me on instagram at james wardy underscore design to keep up to date with what i'm releasing new products uh, client work stuff like that uh, until the next one take care guys